Hi guys, welcome to the video on our video database feature within the YouTube bulk uploader for the lazy application. In this video we're going to take a look at the video database and how it impacts the functionality of this application. If you've been watching the other videos, we added some user accounts, we added some videos into the application here, and we also uploaded a video from our upload queue onto one of our channels. Everything uh, you add into the application once you hit this add to upload queue it will also add the videos into the video database and you can see in our video database we have seven videos and you can see that five six seven okay uh, you can see that two of them are applied to misc animal channel and five of them are within the doggy channel you can also add these videos to this channel and these to that channel all the videos will appear for each channel in this list here. Uh, you can also see the videos have a status here. This is a YouTube status and any video uploaded will give you a YouTube URL here. So you can click that URL and begin watching your video on YouTube. So that's the good thing. It's really easily accessible. Uh, within this edit button lies everything to do with managing your videos within the application. So if we expand the app a little here and click edit for say this video here. Uh, this is the whole editing view uh, within the video database itself. So this is where we can edit everything to do with a video. If you now want to put the video in a different channel you can do that. You can now put it in the MISC animal channel. Uh, you can also change the title. Uh, the file name is where the video is physically located. You may not want to change that. There's an automated tool called the File Path Sync right here, um, and that does that automatically, but it's there for in case you would like to do that manually. The video is not on YouTube, so you can see the YouTube status is video not yet uploaded. Uh, we don't have a YouTube ID. Uh, which makes sense because it's not on YouTube yet. We have our description and we have our tags. Uh, also category and privacy options. These are all set within the video editor but you can edit them at a later date. Uh, if you can see a video with an upload queue, say Hamboon Dog grabs his ball. Uh, if we go to that video here and edit it. As long as the video is not being uploaded we can edit that and the YouTube, um, the upload queue will keep our changes and upload them. So you can say this first video is being uploaded and we want to quickly edit this video here. We can do that within this video editor. So if I type in edit here and click save, I said it saved successfully and we go to here we can see our change here. As long as the video is not currently being uploading uh, being uploaded we can actually make the changes and these will get uploaded to YouTube so it's, it's useful if you want to make a quick edit or something like that and all changes will be reflected in the queue also um, the other thing about this is that you can apply changes to the video on YouTube so if you check this checkbox and your video is on YouTube then it will also edit the tag title description of the video on YouTube so that's really good it keeps it really in sync with this database here uh, this one is on YouTube so if we edit that we can see some various options here this is the ID of our video on YouTube it says it's already uploaded and here is a URL to where the video is you can click that and watch that in the browser also so the video editor is really quite powerful. Uh, the main thing about the video database and unlike any application out there to do with YouTube is it actually manages your videos. You don't just drag your videos into the app, they get uploaded and the application remembers nothing about anything. The key thing about the video database is that you don't want to tag 
the same video more than once. You also don't want to tag similar videos. You don't really want to tag at all, to be honest. So this application remembers every video which is uploaded to any account which is managed by this application. It remembers everything. And that is the point of the video database. It remembers all your videos that you've uploaded. So when you come to add the video again, maybe to a different channel, you can take the tags from an older video so you don't have to redo those. You can copy tags between accounts and descriptions and various other things too. So that is the point of the video database. Um, it remembers things so you really don't have to repeat the work you've already done and that's the great thing about it. Uh, there is a functionality on how the application finds the videos, which we'll cover in a different video. This is called File Path Tink, uh, Sync here. It stores a, an ID within the video in a hidden place, uh, not visible to the user, and that's how the application knows where videos are on your system at all times. So it's a really powerful video management system, and it allows you to edit, manipulate, upload, and manage your videos uh, all at once really and this can hold thousands and thousands and thousands of videos so there's no need um, to worry about storage or anything like that and the file size is quite low and the application does run really well with thousands of videos loaded in so this is the video uh, database check out the other videos for um, some insight on the other features uh, check it out